And in any relationship, for it to be a relationship, there has to be commitment. Um, and for it to be a relationship, there has to be commitment on both parts. Each party has to be committed to the other. When I think about commitment, my mind uh, immediately went to the book of Luke, chapter 16. It says this, I say unto you, make to yourself friends a mammon of her unrighteousness, that when ye fail, they may receive you into everlasting habitation. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. He that's unjust in least is unjust in much. Um, he said, if you haven't been faithful in unrighteous mammon, who will commit to you um, the true riches? No man can serve to masters. And when I think of that passage, it lets us know that we have to be committed. This passage speaking of even the things that you do relative to unrighteous mammon, the stuff in the world, a lot of people, they don't excel in their natural life, in their jobs, because they are not committed to that. And God says a man that is not committed in the things that he does, uh, that God is not going to give to him the true riches. Uh, because an uncommitted person is uncommitted in everything. Just like an unstable man, a man who does not know what he wants, a man that is out of focus, um, he's never going to have from God the things that he should have. Let's go a step further. No man can serve to masters uh, because he's not going to be committed to either of those relationships. Um, I'm going to stay on the natural for just a moment. My mind went to Ephesians chapter number six. When I talk about uh, the workplace, and I think that's so relative to uh, what we're speaking about today. He tells the servants in Ephesians 6, verse 5, Be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling and singleness of your heart as unto Christ. Not with eye service as men pleasers, but as servants of Christ doing the will of God from the heart. Even on your job, God is saying, you have to be committed. You cannot look at work and watch it all day. You actually have to do your job, not committed with your eye service, but he says singleness of your heart as unto Christ. Um, if I'm gonna do a job, and if I'm going to excel in that job, I have to be committed even in the natural. But the Lord said, whatever you do, um, he says, the same shall you receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. That's Ephesians 6 and 8. That if I do my job, but I do my job with God in mind, in the focus on the Lord, the Lord lets me know that whatsoever good thing I do, I will receive of the Lord. If I go to work and I'm committed to that job, singleness of heart, because I'm committed to the Lord, I'm representing the Lord on my job. The Lord lets me know that I will receive blessings of him that goes beyond my paycheck. Flip side, the Bible speaks to us in Colossians chapter number three. Again, servants obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. Um, wives, they can do their wifely duty if 
Ephesians 5, they do it as unto the Lord. I can push the broom at work or put, pick up the trash at work if I do it fearing God. And the Bible says this, um, whatsoever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord, not unto men. This is again, Colossians 3 verse 23, knowing out that of the Lord, knowing that of the Lord, ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance for ye serve the Lord Christ. I'm talking about being committed to God, but God is all up in our workplace here. That even when I'm pushing the broom, man, I'm doing this for the Lord. Um, and he says to us, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. Check this out. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons. Oftentimes we use that scripture to talk about we can get anything from God. But what he's talking about is in your workplace. You even have to be committed to God there. And if you're not committed on your job to God, he says, I'm going to get you for the wrong you do. And with God, there is no respect of persons. So we have to be committed in our jobs to the Lord, in our homes to the Lord, and at church and in our churchly duties, we have to be committed to the Lord. What am I saying? What I'm saying is that our whole life has to be committed to God. You can't be half committed and say, at home I'm not committed, or at the job I'm not committed, but on Sunday morning or on Tuesday night at Bible class, now I'm committed to serving God. Serving God is not a part-time duty. Serving God is a full-time duty. He needs you to be committed to Him all the time, that whatever you do, word or deed, you do it in the name of the Lord, but that's not just saying the name, that includes that, but that's a commitment to God, that my life centers around the Lord.